Hey everyone, so last time we were deciding what we were actually going to do with technology. Now we had some cultural advancements that we could go ahead and do and the options that I gave were quite simple. It was either we go ahead and improve all three of the custom levels which we were able to do or we focus on tolerance. Now based on what people have said I think we're probably gonna go for I think customs might be best. It would be nice to go ahead and gain some more uh, piety and things like that with Majesty, but I think we have more than enough, so we're ruling that one out straight away. Short year reigns minus two, that's not going to affect us, it's pointless as having Majesty. Tolerance. Now that is something that can actually help us, because we have a lot of people who are of a different religion right now, but we are in the middle of converting, so let's do what I believe is going to be the quickest thing for us, or the smartest thing. And we'll do Noble Customs, we'll do Popular Customs, and we'll do Religious Customs. So that puts us back down to 40 points, but hopefully that should help us uh, turn some people onto our side a little bit. Now, we are quite actually, uh, quite actually, we're near approaching a uh, another level. We can do Church Infrastructure with Economy Tech, 120. I'm not sure if we're going to do that, because it's only going to improve tax. We did do Keeps last time to improve Walls and Fortifications. We could do basic construction. Uh, that actually doesn't cost a lot at all. It costs 3.3. Is that right? Yeah, well, that's a no-brainer. We'll just do that. So it goes from 3.3 to 400. Okay, fair enough. Well, we've upgraded construction. That's fine. Um, that's 120, though, so we're going to leave off. <clears throat> right. So we are heading back from the lands of the south and we're getting our troops back to some friendly territory. We fulfilled our ambition to win the war and as usual our next ambition is going to be to win the next one. Now teaching necromancy is no easy task as Princess Hannah is learning. We're going to go ahead and apply caution this time. You can see the learning has uh, gone to 13 at the moment. What we are also going to do is I think we're going to pay for something else, something that's actually going to try and improve state diplomacy. So let's go ahead and find one of our uh, necros, as I'm going to call them now, and we've got Lodvik. Now Lodvik, um, I'm actually going to commission a magic item, and I think, well, let me think, it won't be an amulet, because amulets are only protection and we've already got one. Um, yeah, so we're not going to do that. Potion, we've got, so we save that. Sword is going to cost too long, uh, too much, sorry. So we're going to leave sword for now, and instead I'm going to go for another ring. And we're going to go for the Ring of Persuasion. It's going to take a year, and hopefully this is going to improve our state diplomacy somewhat. Um, I think that's pretty much all that we need to do in the time being. In fact, why we even pause? Let's get our men back while I'm yammering away. So we're trying to improve relations with Graf Arnold the Just because he is one of our strongest vassals. That is uh, underway as we speak. Um, we are also, with uh, Berta, trying to convert Vertband, which is there. Um, I don't think that'll actually be too much time. Now, have a look what's happening nearby. So in the north, in Kislev, we have... Well, we have a bit of a problem. Got a Cornate Familiar. Um, and oh, chaos is actually taking over quite a bit. We've also got somewhere here. Um, so these guys are in a spot above them. Now, if we were to declare wars on here, that would be somewhat interesting. But the Middlelander Revolt, they ha these guys are falling from grace because they are being corrupted from within. Now, we do have one person ourselves, don't we? who's fallen under the guise of these people, these familiars, and was it one of these holders? I can't quite remember. There you are. We need to do something about this. So, if we were to go ahead and try and kill him, the Chancellor is, oh my god, he's very good at Marshall. He's a bloodletter. The brutal and violent creatures from the realm of chaos existing to spread death and mayhem wherever they go. Uh, we need to do something about this guy, we need to get rid of him, but then we'll be putting this monstrous man and well, monstrous whatever it is, in power. Um, I'm not sure we want to be doing that. What can we do about this one? We can't imprison. Plot to kill is too weak. Um, I'm actually going to follow them. And we'll see what we can do. So our people are back to friendly territory, so let's go to military unit. 
Let's disband all those. We're going to keep our Holy Order and we're going to allow them to replenish. But I think what we might do is, well, we're not going to take advantage up there. We've got the vampires there as well. Maybe Ostland. I mean, I think for too long they've held these uh, this territory here. So um, let's go ahead and try and take that back. There we go. So it is uh, Griffinwald. So let's go ahead and start a war for Griffinwald. We're not going to be calling in anyone else. Instead, we are actually just going to try and rush this. So let's rush this as quick as we can. I'm going to send everyone directly in. And essentially, we're just going to try and storm as quick as possible. In fact, I might actually call up some mercenaries. Um, no, I don't think that's appropriate. So we'll get everyone on over there. We do have Righteous Imprisonment, which we can do on Chadwick Hill Ruler, but we're not going to do that because Chadwick is not actually plotting an awful lot. Um, he's trying to get a fabricated claim uh, against uh, Imigrad the Bold, who is classified as my daughter. So uh, what we could have done to prevent things like this from happening is when we did our last edict, we could have gone ahead and uh, put down, was it Central Authority? I can't remember. We could have done something. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, but to be honest, I'm, I'm happy for the strongest to go ahead and survive. I have an, an ornately hard time pursuing my amorous interests with Hierarch Stanner. When will I ever find time to travel so far? I'm going to give up for now because it was pointed out that maybe we should get some traits before we go ahead and try and seduce uh, minus 100 characters. So, um, what can we do here? I think we're actually going to try and focus on someone abroad. So who do we have? Now, could we mess with your wife? I think we are. Let's mess with Empress Winifred of Reichland. She's such a little morsel. Indeed she is. Let's make sure that we're still uh, forbidden from leading armies. Indeed we are. We've arrived in the first piece of territory, so we're going to stay there. Everyone else, we're actually going to send over to the second territory. Now there are three we're going to try and take. Let's see who they've actually called into the war, if anyone, no one so far. So we can expect to see quite a large uh, force of theirs coming our way very shortly. Now our spy master, we could place them in the region to try and find out where they are, but I think we're going to carry on studying technology, it is benefiting us. Um, so let's, uh, let's keep to it, shall we? I've arranged for a scented love letter to be left on Winifred's pillow in an attempt to woo her. Okay. Um, however, today I found her answering missive in the privy. It did not smell like roses. I'm a vampire, I'm sure, sure that I've smelt worse than that. That's fine, it's just a temporary setback. We'll have her, oh yes we will. In fact, there we go. So they actually have quite a lot of defenders, 1700 defenders in this particular territory. I'm actually going to send you guys to the third territory. I'm going to have my strongest force in the north I think. Um, only because that's where I believe they would be crossing the river. So we'll see how we get on with this. I'm actually quite happy that we do have so many troops. In fact, we just need to make sure we're sending them to the right regions. We'll send you guys there instead. Excellent. Okay, so we are slowly getting surrounded. Well, not surrounded. In the north, the chaos are battling. Um, but that's good because it's taken away... Um, Oh, we've got some raiders. It's taking the attentions of Ostland and certainly Midland, who are in... Uh, did I just call it Midland? Yeah, I did. Midlander. That's fine. Middenheim is uh, <laughs> the place that's defending at the moment. Obviously, they've got their uh, revolt going on, so we'll have to see how that goes. It's pretty much a shitstorm for them. So uh, I actually kind of feel sorry for them a little bit. So we've got everyone here, let's just make sure we've got everyone together. Now, as long as we don't encounter a very large army on their side, I'm happy to actually just siege down this war, rather than storm and lose men, because, wow, it is heavily defended. Now, we would go over our demand size as soon as we are able to take this, unfortunately for us, so we'll have to decide on which pieces of land we're going to want. However, it might be a quick way to get Graf Arnulf on our side. I'm having it an inordinately hard time pursuing my amorous interest in Winifred. There's no rush. Um, I'm a vampire. We've got we've got plenty of time unless we suddenly die in battle because we 
do not have the cast iron ring. It's gone, people. We've given up on it. It's probably been destroyed a very long time ago. They're still yet to call anyone up. Um, allies, that is. I'm sure they've got their own troops, but they're bound to be invested elsewhere. They don't appear to be appearing anywhere. They do currently have... Uh, oh, Melchior the Ancient. So they've got a, they're have got defending against a raid. Some carefully placed words... Uh, where they can easily be overheard by notorious gossips can be effective, more effective even than a love letter. Well, that's what I thought, but my quarry, Empress Winifred, she hasn't actually responded, so I'm going to need another tactic. Hmm. Now, I'm tempted. I'm not going to do it. I'm tempted to maybe get a smaller force and send it over here. Who are these guys? Salonian Hills. Oh, well, Pantheon. Oh, what's happened to your face? Scales. Got a set of scales growing over their skin. Well, you obviously wouldn't join us. I wouldn't say we're a distant realm. We're actually across here. Um, no, these revolting carcasses, they're beneath my needs. So we do not need them. We made use of it in the past, but as of right now, um, so looking at the money increase, um, what we'd probably get rid of is maybe Sumpdorf. That's within our... No, maybe not. That's such a shame that the weakest provinces money-wise, I mean, we make the most from over here and one of them. So is that the Sepulchres? Um, let's go for Daring. Yes, that worked. Um, sorry, there we go. So, are we making the most amount of money from this? Probably. Ah, the Halfling Faith considers Vorchdorf uh, a holy site. Okay. This conversion needs to finish. I'm having a hard time. I, okay. Patience, patience, Vlad. We'll be able to get there. My liege, I've tried to make Brother Egard of Rimmer uh, realise what a benevolent, peaceful ruler you are, but since the forces out of his court, damn it. To be honest, he's a old, depressed man. He's lowborn. Um, it's not the end of the world. As long as we can get the graph on our side, um, I mean, we might even send him a git. Oh, take that back. I've sent Winifred a beautiful necklace, and her room was covered with wildflowers. The gambit seems to have paid off, for I've found a magnificent new saddle for my, my dragon? Yeah, for my Bissell Terror. It has a brand new saddle. Uh, it's been embossed uh, here in Bastille and stables today. Oh, and the dragon pit, one and two. I say that's pretty clear symbolism, I say, that she wants to mount me. So, um, we'll see how we actually get on, shall we? So what we're going to do, I think, is let's bump things up a little bit. We haven't actually encountered anyone from Oslin. That must show how weak Oslin is at the moment. Um, we're going to let you rot for a minute. We did say... Oh, in fact, we can't actually change his prison. And we were talking um, not too long ago, can't remember when, about the possibility of putting them under house arrest, but I don't think we can do that. <clears throat> not too much of a problem. Let's have a look at the faction issues. Independence, it seems to be the same man who's doing this all. And what a shock. It's t -shirt. So what does the man actually require? Well, firstly, I think he requires imprisoning. 59% chance it was be tyrannical. But if we can get him into a plot, we can get him into a revolt plot, we can try and kidnap him, we could kill him. I need him to be plotting something that we find out about so we can go ahead and try and imprison him. So let's have a look. Nothing so far. Prince Willy! Okay, Prince Willy. The Talabek lands. Uh, we can go ahead and imprison you. Chadwick Ill Ruler's son. Is he heir? He's not. He's brother. But we could do that and we could. He wants to gain a title. <clears throat> if Chadwick's son was to die, he would inherit 
I am actually going to imprison. I'm going to turn him. There we go. And then shall we go ahead and ransom? No, we'll just release. So now we've got someone within there. So let's see how we actually get on with this. We'll carry on with that. Um, oh, my ring of persuasion has arrived. Now, uh, Lodvike has used a subtle combination of charm magic and it's increased the sensitivity to the flow of a conversation. It's a powerful tool in all negotiations. So let's see exactly what it's going to do for us. Diplomacy plus five. That is really good. I'm happy with that. I've arranged for a scented love letter to be left on a pillar. It seems to struck the truth, but she's left one of mine. Okay, time to up the ante for her. Oh, here we go. And we've got our green skin uprising. God, they've got quite a lot of men as well, but we'll be fine with that. Now we've taken the first lot of their territory and uh, it's slow going. Very well defended this place. So Graf Arnolf has told me about his ideas. I really couldn't understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in the belief that it would improve the military. Uh, spread rate 100%, we'll do that for 18 goals. Thank you very much. So how is this war actually going over here? 4% in favour of El Emperor Dalbert. The Emperor is in a spot of bother. So while we're waiting, let's start, we're already keeping an eye on the Emperor. Let's make sure we're keeping an eye on Empress Lily as well. We already know what's happening here because we're trying to woo him. Oh, not woo him, sorry, <laughs> woo his wife. So we're going to keep an eye on that as well. I'm not going to give up just yet. I'm not too bothered about Avalanche at the moment. I think that's probably going to be enough. <gasps> yes. 52. God, look at these people. Right, so who is ruling? We've got Tazar, Tunya, the Just of Kislev. So let's keep an eye on the Tazar as well. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything we need to keep an eye on now. Um, Emperor Gregor of Imperial Reitland's Peace Officer. Uh, peace officer? Peace offer. What is wrong with me today? So you've accepted that. Hmm. So what's happening here? Oh, we've got a victory there. So we've got 4,000 troops, which are pretty much spare. So I'm actually going to send them over here. They're going to deal not with the Griffin Valley and Revolt. They're going to deal with these green skin uprisings. So let's go ahead and send that over. We should have more than enough men to take care of these. Oh, we don't want to be running into them. So uh, get out of there just in time, please. That would be great if you could. Oh, and we've got another horde who has just risen up in rebellion. Um... Yeah, we should be okay, as long as we attack one at a time. Oh, we've got a Zealot Uprising as well, it's all kicking off now. Where's this happening? 12,000 of them. Um, let's try and avoid them, please. In fact, that's going to take too long, we're going to have to go through them. Ah, so there's 1,500 coming down this way. Okay, we can try and take you out. Where are you heading to? Let's meet them there. This can only help us. Oh, they're deciding to run away. That's not very good. Um, so what are we going to do? I've been daring again. That's works okay. We got an extra one on learning for that. Okay, let's get up here to Talibaheim. There's 12,000. Oh my god, they've just crossed the river. We didn't even notice because we were already focused all the way over there. Um... What to do? Okay. We're going to spend some money. We're going to spend it on some mercs. So we get ourselves... Thousands. I think that should be enough. Yeah, we'll send you guys up there. We are going to have some of this army remaining. We are going to have to take these guys out fairly quickly. Because they do have another 1500 heading over that way. We are actually holding out okay. We are going to lose. As long as we take some of their men with us. Ah, we didn't take really as many as I would have liked. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode off with this little predicament in the war. I will be fine though, don't worry. We're just about to take um, Mention Fresserhof. And, uh, and then we'll see how we get on.
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.